We're not a communist country, Mr. Ambassador. Whatever you are thinking, I'm not concerned about the communism. I'm concerned about our trade agreement and the sanctions that are right now being prepared in Washington, D.C. to be imposed against you. Oh, is that the threat? No, it's a reality. I thought you brought us in to watch the sunrise. Oh, this is no bueno, fun. Oh, bueno, Who's on tia? Quiero un champaña. Donde esta, cariño? Maybe we shouldn't talk about politics right now. Ambassador Arnold Regis was assassinated this morning, along with the top Venezuelan diplomat he was with. Someone blew up their boat. I need you to get down to the Orinoco River in the Amazon Basin immediately. Colonel Antonio Diaz is running the investigation for Puerto Ayacucho, about 20 clicks downriver from the explosion. He's claiming it was terrorists. The CIA thinks it could be the start of an anti-American military coup. I need you to check out that river bottom and tell me what really happened before we have another Afghanistan on our hands. Do whatever it takes and do it fast. And Fitch. Yes, sir. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Close. Very close. Monroe, look. We need to get a piece of that debris to the lab immediately. Strain. And the diameter of these marks are significantly wider than a normal job. How much wider? At least four times. It has to be them. They must be doubling in size every few days. No. No, no, they are growing exponentially. If this is correct, they may be doubling in size every 36 hours. See if you can pull a decent DNA sample off the boat shard. We have to contact Colonel Diaz immediately. It, look, it is imperative. All river traffic must be stopped. I've already told Colonel Diaz. He won't listen. All he cares about is keeping people out of that jungle. 
And you know why. Look, if you want to keep this lab open, you have to keep your theories to yourself. How much time until the piranha hit their next magnitude? 24 hours? At the most. Well, then we need to stop them before that. Jason Fitch, U.S. State Department. Sargento Vasco Ayudante, Fuerza Armada Nacional. Bienvenido a la República Bolivariana de Venezuela. Sorry, my Spanish is a little rusty. I'm here to meet with Colonel Antonio Diaz. El Coronel Diaz lo está esperando. Vámonos. Come on. Be safe, boss. Vámonos, el carro está por acá. They sent you out from the State Department, right? About that boat that was destroyed this morning? No comment. Please stop. My name is Sarah Monroe. I'm a genetics professor from UCLA. I've been working with the ISFRP for the last two years on a hydrobiological experiment. Hydrobiological? What's that have to do? We increase the local food supply by genetically redesigning certain species of fish to make them more robust. I was in charge of the Saracelmus, more commonly known as piranha. Look, I really don't have time to talk about this right now. I think I'll make Colonel Diaz, I know. Please listen. One of my test groups, lot L23, an especially bloodthirsty, grotesquely large strain that I labeled Saracelmus gigantis. They became uncontrollable and had to be terminated. However, I do believe that they've either been stolen or they've escaped and are now breeding in the wild. This sounds like a problem for the fish and game industry. You don't get it. They ate those people. They ate the whole damn boat. And if we don't do something in the next 24 hours, they're gonna grow and grow and grow and take everything out in their path. Diaz thinks I'm crazy. Here, take my card. Come to the lab and see for yourself. It's a piece of the hull. Maybe you can convince Diaz better than I have. Okay. All right. And be careful. He's a closed-minded, paranoid son of a bitch. Vámonos, estamos retrasados. Yeah, yeah. Come on. The office of Coronel Diaz is here. Follow me. Guns for China are good. We don't need the United States anymore. Senor Finch, welcome to the Amazon. Listen, on behalf of my country, I wish to express my deepest sympathy, and I assure you that the criminals responsible for this will be brought to justice. I have reserved you a private room here on our base. <laughs> I plan on staying in a hotel, Colonel. Nonsense. <laughs> this way I know exactly where you are. I'm not a ballistics expert, but I can't detect any carbon, sulfur, or heat of any kind. It's right over here, where the wood isn't torn, these little serrated edges. Has anyone suggested this boat was attacked by animals? Animals? You mean like alligators? Or maybe a group of animals working together. <sighs> so... That's who you were talking to at the airport, huh? That crazy American scientist, huh? Well, she has nothing to do with it. 
All she wants is money. Let me tell you something. These serrations were made after the explosion, okay? From sunfish, gnawing at the carbon. I need to dive the river right away. I told Secretary Grady that I would. Well, we wouldn't want to disappoint Secretary Grady, would we? No, Colonel. We wouldn't. I'll make sure I fly you there immediately. Lead the way. We're approaching the location of the boat's last radio transmission. El Rio Orinoco! It's muy primitivo! Tierra de violencia! De muerte, señor Fitch! When are we gonna land? We're not gonna land. This is the jungle, Mr. Fitch. As far as the air can see, there's no place to land. Then why the hell are we in a helicopter, Colonel? I need to dive that river right away. Find the debris field and find out if this is an explosion or an animal attack. It was an explosion. This area is now off limits. Anything to be done here will be done by myself. My country needs answers, Colonel. Your country. What about my country, huh? You Americans come here, treat us like we're from a third world country, like we're children, we can't take care of ourselves? We're not children, Senor Fitch. And you can tell Grady that from me. Vámonos para atrás! Screw this. Take me up river? Si, senor. Conoce. Let's go. What is going on down there? They just pulled me out of a meeting. Colonel Diaz has asked me to remove you from the case, and he wants you gone by this afternoon. There's something going on with Colonel Diaz, but it has nothing to do with that boat disappearance. That's the river itself. Maybe a submerged mine or animal attack. Maybe gators or fish. Fish? Yeah, fish. An American scientist down here suggested a group of piranha. All right, all right. You just keep doing what you're doing, but send me the report immediately. Yes, sir. I'll fend off Colonel Diaz. Tell him I can't get you out until tomorrow. Thank you, sir. And Fitch, that doesn't give you much time. So get on it. Look, if I'm not back here in 20 minutes, I want you to call second. On second thought. Here, 20 minutes, wait there. Call this woman, okay? I'm not back, 20 minutes. Si, senor. Thank no you. No problema.
Yeah, secondary Grady. Yeah, I figured it out. It wasn't an explosion, and it wasn't terrorists. It was giant piranha. Yes, sir, giant piranha. I know. I will. I'll keep you informed, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So, think a bunch of these can make a boat disappear? What the hell is this? Genetically modified piranha. You're terrorists. There's an inlet by the river. It has a whole school of these things. Boat wreckage everywhere. These... these creatures? They're man-made? The results of a failed experiment. I found them, Colonel. Now all we need to do is figure out how to kill them. Here. It's the exact coordinates where they are. Latitude 5.8 degrees north, longitude 67 degrees west. Now what I'm gonna do is take our fish here over to our crazy American scientist friend. She helped design these things. <clears throat> Maybe she can figure out a way to exterminate them. Oh, and if Secretary Grady didn't tell you, I'm not leaving today. Have a nice day, Colonel. Ajudante! Knock, knock. A little present for you guys. Oh my god. That's the sample we needed. This thing's incredible. Gordon. Yeah. I need you to get me a projection of the size ratio data. We need to establish migration patterns. I'm on it. Are there any of these things left? Yeah, maybe hundreds. But I think they were trapped. Trapped by what? Let me show you. I took a picture. Here. It's a natural dam separating the piranhas from the rest of the river. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, for now. But when they get any bigger, they'll break right through that thing. Okay, fine. So let's put a wire in the water and electrocute them. No, no, no. That's untested um, results. It could cause... Reproductions, massive additional mutations. Massive growth. Any number of things. Okay, fine, let's poison them or drop some acid in there. No! You know, there's only one way to do this. We have to reinforce the dam with concrete slabs. We train the estuary. The L23 Sarasalmus gigantus will suffocate. We'll drown them. The only other option would be hitting them with much more firepower than we're going to find around here. I think you better see this. This specimen has at least half a dozen new organs. Look. Two hearts, triple thick skin, huh. and it's a hermaphrodite. It breeds on its own. This is Fitch. Listen, Fitch, you have to get back to the base immediately. Diaz is up to something. What? We're not sure, but whatever it is, it's big. Okay, I'm on my way up there right now, and it looks like those scientists figured out a way to kill those piranha. Learn what you can. Yes, sir. And report back to I'll keep you informed. Yes, sir. I had those projections you asked for. You better see this. Right now, the piranha are in one spot. But if they migrate down the Orinoco into other rivers, this is what happens. 12 hours, 24 hours, 36 hours. By 48, they reach the Mississippi. I'm going. Fitch! What? You need to convince Colonel Diaz to start reinforcing that dam tonight before these things get any bigger. I'm coming with you. We'll take my car. Yeah, look, follow me. Just don't talk. Señor Fitch, Coronel Díaz quiere verlo. Good. We need to speak with him, too. ¿Quién es esta mujer? Um, uh, she's a diplomat americano. We import her to the case. Okay, follow up. That was smooth. It's a French school. Todos los pilotos reportan ser nave. Operación L23 está listo. Repito, Operación L23 está listo. Síganme por acá. Colonel, Colonel, I need to talk to you. Who is she? The scientist from UNESCO that I told you about, Professor Monroe. We spoke over the phone many times, I think. Oh, so that was you. Well, strap yourself in. We're in for a bumpy ride. Where are we going, Colonel? To the 
secluded inlet. You've convinced me, Senor Beach. Those piranhas were all the evidence I needed. You're not going to bomb them, are you? Of course I'm going to attack them. I'm a soldier. You need to build the wall and reinforce that dam and drain the estuary. There's no time to build the wall. I'm going to kill these things myself. This thing ends tonight. But these choppers don't have enough firepower, Colonel. Give me 15 hours, and I can have a U.S. destroyer here with enough firepower to kill all those damn fish. Listos! Estamos listos para disparar. Disparen! The missiles are killing them. I want the rest of those helicopters up in the air right now! Drop the rest of the missiles! Now! Reports up here showed massive casualties along the entire river if those creatures weren't put down fast. Yeah, thank you, sir. Diaz quarantined the whole area off. There's a couple of scientists from Professor Monroe's lab down there now trying to make sure that the colonel killed all those things. Good. Let's close this case. The Venezuelan government is not happy, and there's talk about closing that laboratory and arresting every one of those scientists. What? That's crazy. Those scientists were trying to help us. I know. I'm doing everything I can. I'm flying down to Caracas tonight to smooth things out at the capital. Relations are bad, to say the least. Listen, you keep Diaz happy. Don't make any waves, and hopefully by tomorrow night, we'll both be heading back home. Hope so, sir. I'll do my best. Ah, Senor Jason Finch, eh? Toma un trago. Salud. Salud. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your time here was well spent, huh? So they tell me you're leaving in the morning, eh? Yes, Colonel. If Secretary Grady is happy, trust me, I'll be more than happy to get out of here. What happened to that little girlfriend of yours, huh? She'll be along in a little while. Is she unhappy that uh, her little creatures are gone? Nah, I can't imagine that. Have you been to this laboratory of hers? Because, you know, I think I'd like to see it. Yeah, it's nothing much. I see. You like her. But maybe she's got some other experiment that might go wrong, eh? Agarre sus cosas! Vámonos! Tenemos que ir al laboratorio de UNESCO! Would you say this is a helpful thing you do here? Yes, of course. Our most successful projects feed 30% of the people in this country. Successful projects? What about your unsuccessful projects, eh? Well, Colonel, there's only been one. <laughs> Colonel Diaz, the scientists here are trying to help people. And we're sanctioned by the United Nations. Well, the United Nations. <laughs> How charitable. Dale! Agarren las cosas! Destruyan las demás! Destruyan las cosas! 
These American scientists have been conducting illegal scientific experiments in my country. You understand? My country! This facility is now closed! Cerrado, Mr. Beach! Cerrado! Vámonos! You want up all the doors and the windows! I need you to go. Take my car and go. I am not leaving without you. You're no good to anyone if you get arrested. Now go! Colonel Diaz, you can't do this. I know who you are. I know what you do in the jungle. Arrest her! You are under arrest. That's arrestada. Agarrela! Get fish through! Higgins, I've collected 46 dead L-23s. There's only a few left on the surface, and that's not nearly enough. Yeah, I've only got about 35 specimens so far. You're absolutely right. There's no way we got them all. Yeah, look, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I see one of Diaz's gunboats coming. I gotta get out of here. Higgins! Vamos a revisar acá! Cuidado allá! Ahí está, Capitán. the shit out of me. Diaz's men have been chasing me all night. They think I lost them. How the dam hold up? It's totally blown apart. Nothing's holding them in anymore. There's no wonder they escaped. Diaz was using grenades and machine guns to try and kill him. We need a full-blown assault.
Nothing yet, sir. They're still in there. According to the reports, Diaz is planning to move them to an unknown location shortly. Do not lose them. This is a real mess, Fitch. And those fish are still out there. Did you hear about the attack last night? Yes, sir. Twenty men. An entire gunboat. Diaz claims it's a CIA plot to take over his country. And Caracas is just along for the ride. So I'm conducting diplomacy at the ISB installation 60 miles north of Aruba. We've got to keep those scientists safe, bitch, and get them here. They're the only ones who know how to kill those fish. Yes, sir. I'll do my best, sir. I mean, that the three of you are conducting illegal scientific experiments and making up stories about me in order to cover it up, eh? That is ridiculous. <laughs> Believe me, when you get to the Guiana's prison district, <laughs> things are gonna get a lot worse. Look, I don't care what you do. I don't care who you work for. I don't care if you're a cartel. Then sign that document! Sign it! Sign that you're part of the CIA! And all of you call yourself part of the CIA! You don't get it. We have to stay here and kill those piranha before they get so big you can't stop them. Get it, cabrón! Get it! Cabrón! Get you to the U.S. Embassy fast.
Sarasovas. with the ocean, we might be able to catch him. Why don't you guys go that way? I'm gonna go do more testing on the water. All right, be careful. It detects fish sonar so I can get a direction. This breed is gonna keep moving. How are there so many of them still? We blew the hell out of these things last night. Look, their gestation period is only six hours. They absorb nutrients directly through their skin, so they just grow and multiply, as if they were composed completely of stem cells from Saracelma's zygotes. <coughs> Stay here. <coughs> hey, hey, easy. You're gonna be okay. Shh, shh. Just relax. You're gonna be okay. Times the fish are definitely headed northeast toward the ocean. That's good. That helps us. We gotta warn all the beach resorts along the coast. Piranhas are freshwater fish. They can't breathe in salt water. They'll never go near it. As soon as they reach the mouth of that river, with that salt water, it'll be like hitting a brick wall. Good. Now we know exactly where to hit them. They're gonna be trapped. They're not gonna get away this time. No! 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 Sir, no! He's gone! He's gone! He's gone! We need to get to the embassy. Come on! Embassy! I'm not going to an embassy! We've got to follow the piranha right down to the river and find someone, anyone, to kill them and bomb them! I just want to kill them all! I just I just I got to go! Come on, go! Get your fish, Alto! Get your fish, Alto! Get your fish, Alto! size of these things. Based on the fish that escaped last month, the much larger ones we collected last night, and the huge ones we saw today. And? Based on my calculations, these things are doubling in size in half the amount of time we expected. And that doubles again within each growth cycle. Okay, how about numbers that mean something? They'll be the size of a horse by the time they reach the mouth of the river. Eight hours after that, a rhinoceros. Four hours later, an elephant. Then a whale. According to this, I don't see any point at which they'll stabilize. Secretary Grady. What in the hell is going on down there, Fitch? There's a warrant out for your arrest. We just witnessed a massive attack, sir. The entire harbor was destroyed. And we lost Dr. Higgins. Let me know what you need. I'll see what I can do. I need you to bombard the mouth of the Orinoco River, sir. Heavy ordnance. Everything you got. Right where the fresh water meets the salt. That's where the piranha will be in a few hours. Bombard the river mouth? Are you out of your goddamn mind? For openers, Venezuela is a sovereign nation, and one I might add whose diplomatic relationship with us is not doing very well at the moment. I understand that, sir, but if we don't hit these things now, hard, they're going to grow and breed and spread up and down this coast until there is nothing left. This is our one chance to do this, sir. All right, all right. I'm going to send you a link to our satellite feed that's been tracking your giant piranhas. Do you need a GPS? I have one. I'll also send a ship to the river mouth, but just to observe. At 0950 hours, you send in a personal distress SOS, and that ship will respond outside of official jurisdiction. Maybe that way we can avoid starting World War III. Yes, sir. Hour and 15, we got it. And Fitch, that ship must be just passing by. He can't wait for you. That SOS must be set at exactly 0950. Otherwise, that window is lost. How long does it take to get to the coast? About two hours. Yeah, well, I gotta do it a lot shorter than that. I'd hang on if I was you. Is that a checkpoint ahead? Damn it, we don't have the time for this. You 
two get down and stay down. Guys, make yourselves invisible. Papeles. Papeles. Guys, we got someone following us. Hang on. Where? On our six. Our six? What? Behind us. Mira! Ahí están! Los helicópteros están listos para poner a esa gente en custodia. Helicóptero 1 está en el aire. 20 segundos para la vista. Sabía que ese señor Fitch era un hijo de puta espía. A mí no me importa nada de señor Fitch. Que se vaya para el carajo. Yo quiero la profesora Monroe y los científicos. Los agarraremos, coronel. Se lo prometo. Los agarraremos. I recognize that SUV. It's Diaz. Hang on! Secretary, the USS St. Harper will be within firing range of the river mouth in 36 minutes. Looks like I lost him. Stay down until I make sure, though. Step out of the car! Even you, Senor Fitch! I want you to clear our names!
¡No están! ¡Se fueron! ¿Para dónde? This way, let's go. ¡Búsquenlos! ¡Mira, para aquí! ¡Aquí hay huellas! ¡Vamos! ¡Está por acá! ¡Vamos! Has the call come in? Not yet, sir. How much time do we have before we're out of range? One minute. The Prada aren't here yet. They're gonna be here any second. Okay, get back. I'm gonna call the strike. They're only going to be trapped between the fresh water and the salt water for a few minutes. Now's the time to hit them. I'm trying, I'm trying. This thing's almost out of juice. 45 seconds and counting, Captain. They're going to be helpless if we don't get that call soon. Go! SOS, repeat. SO Damn it, the battery's dead. Suck on the battery. The acid in your saliva will give you 10% extra charge. charge. SOS, we are at the river mouth under attack, requesting immediate assistance. It's a go. USS St. Harper, USS St. Harper, it's a go. It's a go, it's a go. It's a go. The call's in, sir. Fire forward gun! Do you see the river mouth? The salt water's working. Sarah Salmas won't go near it. I've got to get down there to see. Fire forward gun! Fire forward gun! Dead? Let me check the water. Be careful.
There's not a sound. I don't detect a single piranha. Not here, not upriver. I think this killed them. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> I hate to break up this tender moment, but it's not safe here. We still have Tia's men in the rest. Let's go. Through those trees! They're headed toward the beach. Let's send two helis to pick them up. Yes, sir. All right, we'll just move along this beach. Head up the coast. I can get a knee back from there. It should be easily accessible. Oh, no. Growing and growing, and there's nothing we can do about it. There's just nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do about it. There's just nothing we can do about this. There's hey. nothing we can do. Hey, I need you 100%. You're the only one who can help me stop these things. Okay? Come on, let's go. You too, Gordon. Move out! Wait here. Where are you going? I'm going to get a helicopter. Be down. Turn, turn, turn! 
incoming! Deal with. What direction are the piranhas going? Out, straight out to the ocean, to the east. Okay, then we're gonna head north. North? Why north? We should go back to the shore then. It's all ocean. Why back there? To be arrested again? No, no, there's a closer place we can go to. Besides, we wouldn't make it back to shore. We took a bullet. Fuel lines leaking. Maybe I can break something. Good, we're running out of fumes here, guys. There's gotta be a can of something. Hope so. Sure would suck to die because we ran out of gas. Well, I got you into this mess. The least I can do is try to get you out. There's an oxygen tank. I can use this! No, 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 no. You can't use that. This is a combustion engine. It needs to be gasoline, kerosene, anything that can burn. Yeah, I know. I can make anything burn. Okay, well, you know what? Please do it fast because we are going down. Science, you guys should be working for NASCAR. This is only gonna last a few minutes. That's okay, a few minutes is all I need. Look, there it is. What's that? It's the ISB military installation, Western Hemisphere. Pretty sweet, huh? Hang on, we're going down. the entire world, each one houses about 200,000 refugees in case of emergency. Emergency? Like what? Nuclear war? That or a planet killing meteors, super volcano blast. Uh, okay, we get Thousand year mega ice age. Welcome back to What are you, some kind of bigwig? Nah, I'm just an analyst. The first thing we're gonna do is meet with Secretary Bob Brady and some others. They can ask you direct questions, just give them direct answers. Just think of everybody here as average, normal people. The longer we stand here, the bigger the Saracelmas are getting. And if they decide to change direction, this island is right in their path. We are in an impenetrable fortress, Professor, surrounded by aircraft carrier and missile cruisers. I've seen what they can do to your missile cruisers. We have a lot of firepower. Trust me, you don't have enough. And in a few hours, you're going to need twice as much as you need right now. Yeah, you need to listen to her. She's right. You need to hit these things hard and fast with everything you got right now. I agree with Professor Monroe. She's the expert. She knows the enemy. Now, our experts are tracking the entire group of giant piranha traveling in an arc east to due north. That puts them in southern Florida by later this afternoon. So, what can we expect? Will they stop? Do they sleep? No. These organisms are in a very simple program to create as much protein meat as possible. They eat, they grow, they multiply, and they will never, ever stop. Oh, we're gonna stop them, all right, but the Greenpeacers won't like the way we do it. What does that mean? We have a nuclear submarine set to intercept the piranha in one hour. As soon as those creatures are far enough away from land, we nuke them, 20 kilotons, enough to wipe out New York City. If you want my opinion, as a Greenpeacer, I double that amount. Where are the piranhas now? The satellites are tracking them as we speak. God 
Nice. We'll be in prime position at any second. They should have doubled the kilotons. Target is in optimal range in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Locked on target. Fire! Sound of life? Nothing yet. something get out of there get out remove yourself from the target path immediately i repeat what did he say it's not clear yeah. sir do we have a visual yet no captain the radioactivity is obscuring all sensors let's go up to the surface and see what's going on i have a visual sir put it on screen Southern Florida. Less than an hour. Not enough time for an evacuation. I need a private line to the president. I'll take it in my room. Right away, sir. Excuse me. Secretary, what is it? What are you not telling us? I have been authorized to order a full nuclear assault. Maybe a hundred times what we just saw. Enough to disintegrate the land, everything on it, boil up all the water in and around the Florida Panhandle. But well, we just saw those things absorb that last detonation like it was nothing and move on. Well, they won't move on from the next one. There's got to be another way. You got a better plan? Yeah. When I dove that river in Venezuela, I was attacked by a bunch of these things about two feet long. I was able to cut one of these things with my knife. And as soon as that thing started to bleed, all the other fish, they forgot about me and attacked the thing, tore it to pieces. Now what if we can make those big ones bleed just like that? Maybe they'll turn on each other. But how? We're not even making them bleed with bombs and missiles. Very precise hit, like a surgeon. But you'd have to go down with other divers for that. Swim right alongside them. Hit them in the eyes or something. Exactly. Right in the eyes. Me and a bunch of other divers. There's got to be a dozen seals here. We can do it. Let me try. Won't let you down. But you'll be killed like everyone else. It's better than the alternative. Mr. Secretary. Bob. Let us do it. Just give us this one last chance. Okay, Fitch. You got it. One last chance.
coming live from southern Florida where there has been a massive naval response. What they're saying is a hurricane warning. People have been told to stay in their homes. We'll keep you updated as we know more. Cut. Oh my goodness. I mean, can you believe this? It is such a beautiful day. Like, there's really going to be a hurricane. I mean, what a dud of a story. Did you get that? Get the camera back up. Get the camera back up. Okay, look at the truck. Focus on the truck. Make sure you're getting, make sure you're getting the sound, what they're saying. This is the MK-15, the most powerful handheld underwater cannon in the world. It fires 120 rounds per minute, fully functional up to a depth of 675 feet. If you are approached, fire. If you are uncertain, fire. And if you are retreating, fire. This cartridge holds 20 millimeter armor piercing rounds. There's also another cartridge that holds high powered penetration bombs. This ammunition was designed for one soldier to take down a nuclear sub. So consider yourself a good match against these fish. And that's exactly what they are. Nothing but fish. Yeah! yeah! I have All right, for you. next we talk about the drop zone. What is it? Inside, this contains six frequency amplifiers. They mimic the Sarah Salmon's pitch for I found food. Just push the button inside to fire. In case you're trapped, the fish will follow the sound. Thank you. And keep in contact, OK, with the communicator? I will. Bitch! I gotta go. We are three clicks away from the entry point. Just follow my directions, and we'll make it through this mission one piece, gentlemen. The giant prawn are approaching the outer keys from the east. Let's do it. Load him in. Load in! Load in! The operation is a go! I repeat, the operation is a go! Alright, let's go! Move on! Pile in! Pile in! Let's go! 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 All the way, pile in! No, no, next chopper! Next chopper! Let's go! Keep going! Take her up! Dinner bell. Radio test Baker. Baker here, good test. Radio test Gordon. Gordon here, good test. Radio test Fitch. Fitch here, good test. Radio test Rodriguez. Rodriguez here, good test. All right, everybody. T minus three minutes until we hit the drop zone. We're going to get as close to the shore attack as possible. So when we hit the water, we will be firing. Be prepared. Look down there. We should see what they can do to a town. You see that? I see it. Didn't I tell you to stay off the pier? Shh. I think he's got a big one this time. Bernie! Staff? Heat up that fry pan, my friend, because this baby's big enough for three. Reports from South Florida. The Piranhas have reached the Keys. in the water now. Now! Now! All right, now let's gear up! News reports are coming in from Key West. I'll put it on the screen. 
This is Jane Fisher reporting to you live from Southern Florida where there was a recent hurricane warning. There is no hurricane. I repeat, there is no hurricane. It's dead. Florida is being attacked by giant fish. That is correct. Giant fish with teeth. They're consuming everything in their path. They just ate a boat. You can see people behind me running away from the shore. This is absolutely monstrous. When you're trying to report the floor, you can get a better picture. We lost the feed. All right, we're coming to the drop zone. Final check, get your gear. Tanks and BCs, a lot up by the door, let's go. Unidentified helicopter and it's flying toward the rescue craft. I see it. It's coming in on starboard side. Fitch! Fitch! Get out of there! He can't hear us, sir. Uh, what are they doing? They're flying right next to us. Watch out! Send two more helicopters, fast. Yes, sir. first. Fitch, Jason Fitch, are you there? We're not getting anything from any of them, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Secretary, but I think we have to go to the contingency. It's the only answer. We must make the strike before they get too far north. How many hours before they reach Washington? Less than two. And by then, they'll be three times the size that they are now. Get him. Now! You gotta be kidding. There are people dying down there. 
I'm not kidding. You did, cabron. <laughs> Good work, Fitch. Thank you. For an analyst. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I... 
I was so impressed with the way that you 